trains. Everyone wants to make the best train in Eastern Europe. And let me tell you, I've tried so many different configurations and designs that I'm not even sure anymore that it's possible to have the ultimate train in Eastern Europe. Because they are so modular, everyone thinks a different train is better. But today I've got for you three different train configurations with three very different drivers and they all have their own opinion on what the ultimate train should look like in Estronier. So let's check them out. The first train of today has a little bit of an old-timey feel. The driver's name is Hank the Tank and this is his train. We are gonna talk on everything that's on it in just a second here. The second train of today is driven by Fuxia and this is a little bit more organized and has a homey feel to it. And last but not least, the third train of today is driven by Joe. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you already know who Joe is, so this needs no further explanation. Now that all the trains have been revealed, let's see what our drivers have to say about them. Let's start off with Hank. Hi guys, my name is Hank, but people call me Hank the Tank. Hank the Tank? What kind of name is that? I don't know, it's just a nickname, that's what people call me. Oh, come on Hank, nobody calls you that. Well, back in my day, that's what people used to call me. I am a professional train driver and have been for several decades. And I know for a fact I've got the best train in Estronier. Here's my driver's seat, I've got a smelter behind me, a soil centrifuge, a research chamber and a shredder to produce scrap and there in the back it's my storage area for all the items I find. Wow, that's so cool, Hank. Yeah, Hank, that's so cool. I feel like you guys are making fun of me. Come on, Hank, nobody's making fun of you here. Why don't you show us your train in action? No, I want to see their trains first. All right then, Fuxia, why don't you show us your train? Hey guys, I'm Fuxia. This here is my train and it actually has an engine, not just a seat on top of a car. Hey, was that comment aimed at me? Well, yeah, I think it was, but let's get over that. My train is much cleaner. I've got some portable smelting furnaces, as well as a trade platform and a place to produce all the scrap. I've got storage and also a soil centrifuge in the back. Wow, that's really cool, Fuxia. Yeah, very cool indeed. Hey, Joe, I think it's your turn. So show us your train. This is Joe's train. I don't know what's on it. I just got it like this. What do you mean, Joe? Didn't you build it yourself? Well, Joe, Joe built this, but uh, I had help from uh, my favorite YouTuber who always does tutorials with me. Nice, Joe, thank you, but I thought we discussed about this. You built it yourself, right? Oh, yes, yes, Joe built this. Something smells fishy here and it ain't me. I'm pretty sure it's you, Hank. Hey, guys, cut it off. Now let's see the trains in action, shall we? Okay, so here's my train and I am going on my rail that I've built and... This rail goes into the caves and... Why is your train so slow? Yeah, Hank, why is it so slow? Is it because you don't have an engine? My train has an engine and it moves much faster. And my train track that I've built goes way further than Hank's does. I don't know why you guys are so upset. My train goes extremely fast. Look at the speed. Yay! Wait, you have the coal engine? Do I have the coal engine? Yes, Joe, you have it. You unlocked it yourself, remember? Joe, don't remember that. Joe? Oh, yes, Joe, remember, Joe, remember. Back in my day, there were no engines. We had to push the train. Guys, it seems like you just want to argue, so I'll take over from here. I told you, the people want to see the trains in action. What people? The people watching the video, Joe. Again, we've talked about this. This guy thinks we are characters in a video game. Why would he think that? Hey, let's remain calm. I didn't say you were characters in a video game. We are all just Estroniers, right? Yes. Okay, so let's see the tracks you've built. Fuxia, why don't you go first? I'm really proud of my track. It goes all the way into the deep caves. And look at the beautiful flowers everywhere. I can also smelt items on the go. I can use the trade platform to get all the items I need. And I can use the shredder to get scrap for the trade platform. So does anyone else have a better train than me? Well, my train goes through the caves, but also on top of a gate. I found out about these new things that you young people use to teleport around everywhere. These weren't a thing back in my day. We had to push the train. Um, alright Hank, let's see what Joe's got for us. My train goes all the way into the core of the planet. Look at this. So cool. I'm having a ton of fun with this train that I've built myself. What? How did he get down there? I think what she meant to say is that's really impressive, Joe. Congratulations. Uh, these young guys with their cores and everything. 
Back in my day, the core was just a solid piece of rock with a strontium on it. Wow, Hank, you're really old. Joe didn't mean to say that, Hank. Actually, I think I've seen enough of your trains, guys. So basically, Astroneer's trains are so modular that you can build them a million different ways and you can still come out with an ultimate train. Joe had the better train engine, the coal engine, and you will need to complete some extra missions to unlock that, but it's worth it because it's much faster. Yes, Joe, fast. Then you'll want to use portable smelters instead of the old big smelting furnace, just like Fuxia did. Oh, thank you. And last but not least, you want your train to be functional. Remember, the ultimate train is about utility, not looks. Back in my day, we had to push the train. Yeah, Hank, we got that. Thank you. So here are the items that you will need on your train to make it the ultimate train in Estronier. You're gonna need smelting furnaces, the portable kind, maybe a soil centrifuge, but what you really want is the trade platform. You will need a shredder. Depending on your bites, you might want to add a research chamber in there, but it's not mandatory. But what you will definitely need is a lot of storage space. And some food to eat while driving. Joe hungry. And you also need a radio to hear the news. Don't forget about pets to keep you company. Well, yeah, what they said. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos with Hank, Fuxia and Joe. And I'm gonna end this video before they start arguing again. So make sure to subscribe. And that's all for today. I've been Games for Life and I'll see you next time. Cheers, Estroniers! Cheers, Estroniers!